So before I go any further in the video, I need to let you know that this is not going to be like a standard traditional video for me, and that is because this is supposed to be my vacation. Uh, I promised myself at the end of every grueling trip, I would schedule the last hotel for myself, and I wouldn't turn on the camera, and I would just relax and enjoy uh, the trip as I would normally, as if I wasn't doing any video. Uh, obviously, that has not worked out too well. I have made that promise to myself in the past, and I've broken that promise to myself in the past, and it looks like I've done that again, but I am gonna have a very low-key video on this one. But I did want to show you this property because this is a brand new property in one of the best spots in all of Putacana. This is Azul Beach, Cap Cana. Uh, apparently the Azul Beach in Jamaica is legendary from what I hear. And uh, this is brand new. And, and, and this is the sister property of Margaritaville, which a lot of you have been asking me about. So Margaritaville is apparently brand new. This is brand new. Uh, there are a lot of people here. I pretty much have this place to myself. This could very well be one of the first videos on this property ever. So I want to bring you up to speed a little bit. Um, the room is brand new. It's fresh. It's clean. It's spacious. Ultra comfortable bed. Big TV. Again, all the fixtures and furnishings are completely fresh. There's nothing like a brand new hotel room. And then everything else on this property is brand new as well. I went to a brewery last night. Yes, this hotel has a brewery and it is phenomenal. I loved it. It's a Landshark Brewery. Obviously, this is a Margaritaville property. Apparently, this is like the only place in Putacana to get a Landshark Lager, which makes sense. Uh, the brewery could have been like a standalone brewery anywhere. It was beautiful, double-decker. I thought I could have been in any high-end brewery anywhere in America. It was phenomenally done. And now it is about noon, and I'm just having an easy, breezy day. There are specific Azul Beach pools, and then there are Margarita pools as well. I'm not sure if I have access to the Margaritaville pools. I think I do. Uh, the two properties do split the restaurants. They split the gym. They pretty much split everything. There's just a Margaritaville side, and then there is an Azul Beach side. So I'm gonna head down to the Azul Beach pools right now and uh, see what those are like. Good news, bad news. Uh, let's start with the bad news. The bad news is the Azul Beach pools, they are beautiful, uh, but they are small, and they are boring. They are so boring. It's like death by a thousand paper cuts. They are so slow, chill, and boring. Now, here's the good news. I, you, we have access to the Margaritaville pools, and that is where I ended up spending the rest of my afternoon after I fell asleep like three or four times at the Azul Beach pool. So that is where you wanna go. Margaritaville is where you wanna go if you want some energy, some action, and what I consider to be like the better pool experience. Uh, I'm gonna have a full Margaritaville pool day probably in a couple days. I'm not gonna hit you with like two pool days in a row. I do wanna check out the beach, which looks amazing. The waters look so beautiful. I just glanced at them like from a distance, but they look stunning. So we're gonna try to do a beach day tomorrow, we'll see. Uh, but the good news is, is that Margaritaville is definitely open to me, to you, to us, if you decide to come here. Um, basically, the whole entire Margaritaville and Azul Beach properties uh, share everything. They share the same pools, they share the restaurants, they share the beach, they share the gym. It's basically like two properties in one. So uh, I think it just depends on where you wanna stay. Do you want like the cooler, chiller, quieter, calmer tower, Azul Beach? or do you wanna kinda of be in the action over at Margaritaville? Uh, tonight, I'm going to dinner. I have no idea where I'm going. I'm just gonna go walk outside and jump into a place. I'm thinking maybe Asian, maybe sushi, but we will see what happens. Do not look at me. I'm hideous today. Do not look. You've been warned. Uh, wow, last night. Whew, unbelievable. Uh, last night is something you'll never know anything about, that's for sure. Uh, I'll take that one with me to my grave. Uh, there may or may not have been multiple wristbands from multiple hotels on my wrist last night. Uh, wow, unbelievable. So I'm just getting going for the day. It's 1 p.m. I actually just walked back in the door. I, uh, I left. <laughs> 
<laughs> I left the door uh, about 16 hours ago, <laughs> yesterday evening. And yeah, I'm just getting back to my room right now and getting going. I am definitely headed down to the beach right now for some vitamin D and some sleep. Depending on how the beach goes, this could be one of my favorite properties in Punta Cana. I never expected that. This hotel right now is on my good side on the best way possible. I'm really, really enjoying my stay here. Again, I still have to see the beach and there's a couple more restaurants I need to check out, but thus far, I am loving it. Uh, the, the meal last night at the Japanese place, uh, the name escapes me. I'm just gonna call it the Asian place, the Japanese place. It was fantastic. It was amazing. Now, the food I've had thus far has been more casual than high-end fine dining. I'm not gonna call it completely casual, but I'm not definitely not gonna call it fine dining. But wouldn't you rather have fantastic, like casual food over like mediocre, the poor fine dining food? I think the obvious answer to that question is yes. So every piece of food I've had thus far has been really great. And that includes the room service. Absolutely the second best room service I've had right behind excellence. Like the food here is great. The, uh, the property is a lot of fun. The vibe is fantastic. So like I said, depending on how the beach goes, which is where I'm off to right now, and depending on how the rest of my stay shapes up, this hotel could score really, really high for me. Just when you think the hotel stay is going unbelievably, and when you think you may have found the perfect gem in Punta Cana, you are hit with the worst beach you've seen possibly ever. There always has to be some drawback, right? It's like, where is this perfect hotel in Punta Cana? I haven't found it yet. Found a lot of great ones, but I have not found the perfect one. I was thinking this maybe could be it. Uh, this beach is dreadful. If you're coming here, you better like the pool. You better like the drink and you better like to eat. Uh, because you are not gonna be spending much time at the beach at all. It's not really even a beach, it's more of like a sandlot. It's a sandlot with a view of the water. Now from afar, the water looks beautiful, looks striking. It, from afar, is some of the most majestic waters I've ever seen. But then when you get up close to it, you realize that the water is just infiltrated with seaweed. Uh, there's seaweed everywhere, not only in the water, but on the beach. There really isn't a beach area. There's a sand area and then there's a water area, but the area in between is like this weird rocky LJ thing. You really can't even walk on it without shoes. So safe to say, if you wanna spend some time by the water, you can, but spending time by the water in a sand lot is much, much different than being at a beach. All right, the Italian place last night still has me euphoric today. It was unbelievable. It felt like an actual restaurant. It looked like an actual restaurant and the food tasted like it came from an actual Italian restaurant. Uh, there were two standouts. Number one, lasagna. Surprise, surprise. I'm not sure what it is with the Dominicans and lasagna, but darn if I haven't had the best lasagna I've ever had at these all-inclusive resorts. That was amazing. They claim it's the best in Punta Cana. I don't know if I'd go that far, but it was pretty unbelievable. Uh, but the standout dish was not even the main course, it was an appetizer, it was the carpaccio. I wish this place was open for lunch because I'd go back there right now. It is not, however, and that's a good thing because it's my last day and it's my biggest day yet. And I'm gonna head down to the Margaritaville pool right now. If you're staying at Azul Beach, you get access to the Margaritaville stuff. So I'm headed down to the pool right now. And then tonight I got my biggest and baddest dinner planned. I know I just said that I ate at probably the best restaurant here, Frank and Lola's, the Italian place, but there is an exclusive and special restaurant that's not included in this property that you have to pay extra to go to. It's called JWB Steakhouse. I've never gone to an a la carte restaurant. I can't wait to see what that is about. That is later tonight though. Let's head down to Margaritaville and see what the pool is like.
pool scene was, it was great. I like the Margaritaville pool much better than Azul Beach. It is larger, it has a much better design. It has like an archipelago type feel where it has a lot of alcoves and twists and turns and private spots. Um, there are like some tropical palm trees like scattered throughout inside the pool. And I like the bar a lot better. That five o'clock anywhere bar, is fantastic. There's a guy walking around with like a Jetman backpack and he's just ready to fill you up like a, with a beer or whatever is in that backpack. Um, and also the bartenders there, they are super fun, really cool. They wanna get you wherever you want to go. I will say that in a couple of months, I predict that this will be a phenomenal pool to hang out at. Again, there aren't a lot of people here right now, the hotel is brand new, but I think when this hotel gains traction, when this hotel gains popularity, that pool party is going to be unbelievable. I love the steakhouse. It was just like every other restaurant here. It looked like an actual restaurant. It felt like an actual restaurant. The menu was emblematic of an actual restaurant menu and the quality of the food was restaurant quality. Uh, I'm gonna talk about the food later in this video. The food is such a huge standout here and it's such a nice surprise. If you have high standards for food, if food is a deal breaker for you, uh, you absolutely have to come here to Azul Beach, Margaritaville. After dinner, I strolled over to Punch Bar. Uh, it is located by all the restaurants. I think that's gonna be pretty much the social hub for the evenings. Uh, it's this beautiful outdoor bar. It's like double-sided. It has like a lot of great lounge area. They set up entertainment there at night. Fun bartenders, cool drinks. I really enjoyed my time there. And then this morning I went to the buffet and just like every other piece of food I've tasted and just like every other restaurant I've experienced, the buffet was fantastic. Uh, it was stations galore. You had an Italian station, you had a fruit station, you had a juice station, you had a crepe station, you had an omelet station. It was a station bonanza. I made one of the most gigantic egg omelets of all time, just like at Excellence, they give you the bowl so you can put in as much as you want or as little as you want. I loaded up a gigantic quadruple egg omelet. The thing was so large, the guy could not even flip it over. That was quite the spectacle, not just for me, but for everybody else there. The buffet was a fantastic experience. I can only imagine what it's like for dinner if breakfast was that good. And that leads me to right now, I am out of here. My Putacana trip is ending. Uh, I really want to summarize Azul Beach and Margaritaville uh, as three things. It is fresh, it is fun, and it is food. Um, fresh, again, it's brand new. I can't state that enough. This property is going to be amazing at least for the next couple years. Uh, everything is brand new from the rooms to the beds to the furnishings. Uh, just for, to, the, to the gym equipment, to the restaurant seats, everything is fresh. There's nothing like staying at a brand new hotel that doesn't have a lot of miles on it. So if you wanna experience one of the newest, most modern and freshest properties here in Putacana, you absolutely have to check out Margaritaville Azul Beach. This one I never expected, and this is why I do these videos, uh, the food here. I expected the food to be average, uh, but expectations are not always reality. The food surprised me on the upside. You know I just stayed at 14 of the best all-inclusives here in Putacana over the past few months, and I'm gonna rank them all based off food in a separate video, and I think I'm gonna rank Azul Beach second. That's against Majestic Mirage, that's against Majestic Elegance, that's against Secrets, that's against Luxury Ambar. That's how phenomenal the food is. Every piece of food I've tasted here is amazing. I actually think the room service quality here is even better than what I had over at Excellence. Lastly, this place is fun. I would describe it as a boutique hard rock. Uh, if you kind of like some of the elements of hard rock in terms of the crowd, of the energy, you know, a little bit of that feel good, slightly party vibe, but if Hard Rock is too expansive for you, it's too overpopulated, and maybe it's a little too worn out, that hotel does have some miles on it, you have to come to Margaritaville. Again, if you like all those elements I just talked about, but you're looking for it in a more condensed package, a fresher package, maybe even a funner package, I think you have to try Azul Beach Margaritaville here in Punta Cana. So this property is a lot like Majestic Mirage, and you're probably like, James, are you insane? This property is nothing like Majestic Mirage. And I'm like, okay, touche, but hear me out. You know, Majestic Mirage could have scored off the charts for me, but they had two fatal flaws, uh, the lackluster pool and the beach. And unfortunately, 
that happened here as well. This property could have scored off the charts. It could have scored almost perfect for me if it would have had a decent pool scene and a decent beach scene. Now the pools here at Azul Beach are forgivable because the Margaritaville pools are just steps away. No shuttle, no golf cart, no long walk. They are literally almost connected. So because you get access to the Margaritaville pools, I can forgive the pools here a little bit. The major problem is the beach, especially in Copcana. If you're coming to Copcana, I think you almost need to have that quintessential beach experience and unfortunately, there isn't even a beach here, not really. It's only a beach in name. It's more of a sandlot, the short is rocky, and I only saw one person swimming this entire time. With all of that taken into account, I'm still gonna rate it a four, and it's a strong four. This property with a decent pool scene and an awesome beach could have probably scored a six. I am gonna take it down a few points because the beach is unforgivable and the pools are still a little bit underwhelming. It's an awesome property, and I think if you're coming here in the next two years, you're gonna get the very best this property is gonna to have to offer. This property is brand new. It needs to make a name for itself, and there's a lot of competition. In order to do that, it has to put its best foot forward, and I can tell you that they are doing that right now. So Missoula Beach and Margaritaville is the new hotspot hotel in Putacana, and I can see why. This place is trendy, and it's cool. If you are really high on freshness, food, and fun, this is a can't-miss property in Copcana.